Hello everybody and welcome to the start of a throwback playthrough of what was probably in my opinion the best Minecraft mod pack um, pretty much ever made I think so this is Feed the Beast Infinity of Old Skyblock now Feed the Beast Infinity was released way back um, Minecraft 1.7.10 when that was fairly new around and it's kind of the old equivalent of what FTB Beyond is now on Minecraft 1.10.2 um, and then they started to tinker with recipes and Feed Beast Infinity of Old came out which well Feed Beast Infinity for people who are relatively new to modded Minecraft was a bunch of mods thought you had to play with lots of mods together and create really powerful sort of setups and um, Infinity Evolved added something to the more experienced Minecraft player where um, you couldn't get what you wanted in your first day of playing and you had to play and the recipes were a lot more difficult and they involved using a lot more of the mods to get to where you wanted to go and that was great and I remember moderating a fairly popular server on Infinity Evolved which is in a normal Minecraft world and yeah it did what it said on the tin it made you play a lot more of the mods in the pack and made your game last much longer um, and then a few moments down the line they released this now the skyblock concept my first real experience of it was with a pack called uh, agrarian skies and um, basically it puts you in a void world um, there are no resources to collect there's no ground to dig um, and it adds a whole new sort of dimension to how you go about obtaining your resources and progressing in the pack basically um, so to put infinity evolved with the difficult recipes on a sky block was another step to you know extending the amount of time you play a pack and you know one of the taglines for this mod pack was um, you know be prepared to invest a lot of time into this mod pack and I'm going back there because with FTB beyond um, expert mode or evolved or whatever they're gonna call it um, in progress and on the way I thought I'd uh, come back and do an actual playthrough of this pack trying to explain what direction I'm headed in as I go through and uh, yeah go back to its roots Minecraft 1.7.10 a lot of the mods have changed in their latest versions um, things like extra utilities especially uh, with extra utilities too um, there's a lot more it has its own power system now but let's just get into it I created this world but haven't really done anything so texture packs I'm using Sawtex for the vanilla Minecraft and then Sfax for all the modded textures so they look okay so here we are and this is what I mean this is what you start with it's a complete void world we have nine blocks of dirt and a chest which has a bit of bone meal some uh, saplings some apples a chicken stick get into that later and one lava source and one water source and that's it that is all there is in the world as it stands at the moment so to get started you need wood. Now what are the obviously most pressing things with a sky block is if you fall off this platform you die and you're not going to be getting your gravestone because it's down there at the bottom of the void. So crouching whilst on the edge is pretty much what you spend most of your time doing in early game. I'm just going to grow good. One of the worst things that can happen is you get one of them giant trees right at the start and it didn't happen for me this time, which is nice. 
So we're going to get a bit of wood. Um, we'll get a couple of saplings back, hopefully. Okay, so, yeah, crafting table. Change it to a tinker's one. My aim for this playthrough will be to get the everlasting guilty pool. Which is going to be a challenge. Because you need every single room from Britannia. You need every single room from Blood Magic. You need Gaia Spirit Ingots from Britannia. You need no Catalyst from Witchery. Um, crystal Clusters from Blood Magic. And Primordial Pearls from Thorncraft. And also, just to add a bit of insult to it, uh, 512 of each aspect. Thorncraft. So that's the end game goal, um, and that's a long, long, long way away. <laughs> so let's get a bit more word. And we're going to uh, extend out this platform. Okay, so one of the first things you'll notice with Infinity Evolve, you only get two planks per log and you only get two sticks per stick recipe as well. Get a couple of these. I'm gonna make a brook. And we're gonna make some slabs. first order of business is to make this stupidly little platform a little bit bigger. Just uses slabs at the moment for uh, material efficiency. Okay, so thankfully we're now not on a 3x3 three three <laughs> square dirt, we've now got a 5x5 five five platform. Uh, before I... This is what the crook is for, is busting leaves on trees. I'm kind of hoping we're going to get something from this tree. Nope, didn't get it from this one. Probably annoying. Hmm. Get it from. Oh. There we go. You can see that in my inventory now. I'm just going to see if I can get another one. Okay. Uh, in my inventory now, you see that we've got a silkworm, and this is how you get the first resource, which is string.
But before we do that, I'm just going to extend this platform out another level. Alright, so we're now on a 7x7. Seven seven. A bit less uncomfortable. One of the things I definitely learned whilst playing this pack was that. Um, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, we need first. If you are going to fall to your death, you don't want to have too much in your inventory. Rule 101. Okay, so... How do you go about getting resources in this pack? Well, where you start is these oak barrels. You can fill it with saplings, but that's not really the best way forward. Um, what is a good way to go is to get wooden shears. I guess shear some leaves. Like so. And when you fill the bars up with leaves like this, they compost into dirt. Yeah. Let's get some more leaves first. Alright, so uh, we've got a little bit of wood now, we've got some dirt. Now uh, we're going to get our first bit of thing. So, we impregnate the leaves there like that. 
and the silkworms will slowly spread throughout the whole tree then it's all disinfested Takes a little while, unfortunately. Okay, and now you can see it spreading. The more it spreads, the quicker it spreads. So once you get past that first stage, So many things have changed in this pack, I mean. Iron plates, fuck it. Get the forge hammer for iron plates, treat six. Okay, to get in immersive engineering. Before any of that, you need some cobblestone. All these recipe changes. Why oh, is an MFE?
these require RTG pellets forces you to go industrial craft first uh, fun times If you wonder why I haven't made a wooden axe, it's because it's uncraftable. First axe you can make is the stone one. See, the infested leaves drop string. Six string from that, plus three more silkworms. Okay. And what that allows us to make is our first there. these. Four oak. There we go. Okay, the first part of the puzzle. So the dirt we are making, we can now flip it. A 
we're going to be doing quite a bit of this at the start until we get it automated. Okay. You get every time you sift dirt, you get these little stones, and you craft them like that into cobblestone slabs. What it also gives you when you sift dirt is plant seeds. So you got rubber tree, normal wheat, grass seed, pumpkin seeds. Ah. And what I need to do is get a place set up where I can put a cobblestone generator. And we're going to need cobblestone. So, time to grow some more trees and get some more leaves. Alright, dirt,
Okay. Hello there. There we go. Right. <laughs> so water can go there. The lava source can go. Oh, we need enough stone for a pickup. Six, so we just need two cobbles. Now we have cobblestone forever. Gonna use this pickaxe up.
Eh oui. Okay, so you don't want to get caught without any cobblestone, so the first thing <clears throat> that is advisable is to make sure you have a pickaxe. Or anything else. Up. <clears throat> Sugar cane. Good. Now we can extend out our platform. Ah, excellent. All right, break more stone.
Okay, this is good. <coughs> kind of hoping Ray will come soon because we're going to get ourselves. Can we? Can't get a bucket yet. It's not really that much use to us. There's no clay buckets because it's expert mode. The rain's kind of useless to us. Ah uh, yes, slab furnaces. <laughs> what about these? Okay, is that all? So, I said at the start we get this chicken stick. Which allows you to turn cobble into gravel. Sand. And sand and dust. And this is how you get with us. You can save gravel, you can save sand, or you can save this dust. Entirely up. Copper, lead, iron, and diamond dust. Hmm. Five diamond dusts, one dust. Excellent. But we'll also get a redstone from that, which is what we need now, because we want to automate the cobblestone want that one we're going to need two bits of redstone, one bit of iron four bits of iron And let's make a awesome chair. For now.
good thing about this chicken stick is it is unbreakable. Get ourselves some clay, that's dust and water. So the rest. Okay, and over button it gold iron plus seven nearly halfway there got some blaze powder gunpowder die stone <laughs> more redstone and a bit more Bone man. Okay, I want to get. Was it still raining? Ow. will be moving clay sooner rather than later right more cobble
need some more wood. Um, still raining. Interesting. So, smashing up stuff with the chicken stick has a chance of spawning chickens. Used to me. Feathers as well, nice. I believe it's still raining. Well, I say no to a good thing.
Ah, all right. One shot of powdered iron ore, of course. We could go from here, or we could go. A lot more reds than not. <clears throat> also, a lot more efficient, but then we will need also this. No, we're not. We have to be a block breaker for now. Um, Hopefully this will be the last pickaxe I have to go through.
Oh god, there's a dog entering my stream. No. Eh. Hey, how you doing? Grind is real. Yeah, good. Just thought I'd go and back a bit into the past and have a go. I play through this. Pack Infinity of Old Skyblock. Um, I never really did a full playthrough of this, and with FTB Beyond uh, Evolved or Expert Mode or whatever they're going to call it coming out soon, I thought I'd get myself ready with the the grinding. Be prepared for what's about to come. Like, well, I said at the start of the stream, um, I still think this is pretty much the best pack ever made for Minecraft, modded wise. Just these early days manual grinding that kills me. Once I get all this sifting automated, which shouldn't be too far down the line, then things start to get a little bit easier. I'm kind of looking forward to playing with logistics pipes and stuff again because I miss that not being in Minecraft 1.10.2. One of the few mods I miss from the days of 1.7.10. Uh, let's do that too. Um, it's a fairly new channel so we don't have too many people but there's never any, too many people around at this time of day anyway. I seem to get the most views for playing Stellaris at the moment. It's kind of weird. Didn't expect that. But I'm live on Beam, Twitch and YouTube and all the chats are integrated onto the channel so you can all interact with each other. 
but give it the most opportunity to get people watching. Should have enough iron once I've sieved all this. Uh, get some more music going. There we go. Uh, okay, so block breaker. Okay. Meh. Tiny coal isn't a thing. Back, so there's gonna be wastage. Um, and so that. I need one more. Breaker. Okay. Uh, aside. I'm going to 
chest. <laughs> yeah, tree get it. Ugh. Got a little Swedish there. Ah, uh, yes. Redstone clock. All about that. Ah, automated cobble. Yeah. Oh, that's a good starting point for today. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Hi Soul Slayer, how you doing? Yes, I am on PC. Alright, so where we get the compressed hammer, pretty much. Because yeah. then I can just compress this cobblestone, mash it up this way. That into dust. Don't think no. need the heavy set to that, so tip this for our materials, we can start looking towards uh getting an auto save. We need the rain again now. We can get some clay. Oh, grind is real already.
Come on. Yeah, we have enough diamond dust for our first diamond. Excellent. Oh. Uh, I guess we'll do. <clears throat> oh. All right, I think that's pretty good progress for the first day. I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you to those who watched, and we'll continue this on soon. See you next time.